Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Lush haul. This is everything, well not everything, from their Christmas re re release. It is everything that I thought was interesting after all of the YouTube videos I watched about it. So um, I mentioned in my Lush haul um, of products from their permanent line. Permanent, I say that with quotes because you'll see in the video some of them are uh, being discontinued if they haven't been already. Um, anyway, so this is everything that I thought was interesting from their Christmas release. I'm gonna start with bath bombs. So this, I had to get it, is Golden Wonder and it's so cute. It looks like a little present. I think it's so cute. It's very very unique and if you can hear that there are other things floating around in there. I'm not sure what they are but I don't know maybe like a mini bath bomb but that'd be really really mini but anyway so this is so beautiful I saw it demoed at a Lush and um, it makes like mermaid water it smells so good it's like this turquoise color and there's golden sparkle everywhere it smells so good oh, it smells like candy I mean a lot of this stuff smells like candy but I love candy so <laughs> who cares Next is, sorry, I'm just, I don't know if I really gave that justice, so that's Golden Wonder. Next is Christmas sweater, and it's so cute. Look at it. It looks like a Christmas sweater. How cute is that? This, whew, it smells spicy. This smells like your typical Christmas candle. I don't know, like that nauseating, well, I mean, at least for me, it's kind of nauseating. It smells like trees and spice and um it's a little it's a little much so i'll probably i mean i'll definitely use it pay for it but i probably won't purchase anymore um however i have said that with the halloween release and um i ended up actually liking a few of the ones that i thought i wouldn't ever want to purchase again so they kind of took me by surprise. I guess once you throw it in and, you know, everything gets diluted, it's not as, you know, intense. But um, as of right now, you know, so that's Christmas sweater. Um, I was going to say something. I don't remember. Hopefully it comes back to me. This is the Luxury Lush Pud, like, like pudding. So it's got little... Um, holly at the top and it's got all these like random colors which I don't think are no they're definitely not like bath melts or anything like that but that's what it looks like um kind of random like this design I mean it's festive but it doesn't scream Christmas to me other than this um so I don't know but it smells good it smells like twilight so yeah it smells like twilight or sleepy body lotion I really am excited to use that this is Nevermind the Ballistics, and it looks pretty janky. Um, this top half is dipped in a bath melt, so not the whole thing, so... Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, the top half is dipped in a uh, very crooked dip. <laughs> but, yeah, I've seen this demoed as well, and it makes the water really, really, really cool. It's like this pink, orange, bright color. It's really, really nice. And it smells really good. It smells sweet and fruity. Um, yeah, I really like it. I mean, I'm terrible at describing these scents. They all kind of end up smelling the same, let's be honest, um, after a while. So, <laughs> I mean, Lush is always using the same kind of ingredients, bergamot, um, lime, lavender, tonka, you know, all kinds of stuff that they, you know, re reuse over and over. So, in my opinion, a lot of these end up smelling very similar to one another. Um, this is Thunder Snow, and it looks cool. Everybody says it looks like the earth, and I agree. Um, it smells similar to, um, I guess I'll show you, <laughs> this guy. This is the Butter Bear bath bomb, and it's basically the Butter Ball bath bomb, but in the shape of a cute bear, and he's got a scarf, and he's adorable. So... Yeah, these smell pretty much identical, so I don't know what that's about, but you've got Thunder Skull, Thunder Snow, and the Butter Bear, so meow meow. <laughs> this is 
shooting stars or shoot for the stars. I'm pretty sure it's shoot for the stars. I don't know. Shoot something. Um, don't shoot anything. Um, this has these um, three stars, which are actually bath melts, and they're like covered in glitter. This smells a little more fresh uh, and clean, but I still really like it. I think it, I mean, it, it has a little bit of sweetness to it too. Again, it smells really similar to Thunder Snow and to the Butter Bear or Butter Ball. Um, but I mean, I like it, so I don't mind the more the merrier. This is Sherbet or Sher Sherbet mm -hmm. dip. And I have no idea what this has to do with Christmas or the holidays or anything. Um, do people tend to eat Sherbet? during the holidays. I wouldn't think so because it's cold outside, but I don't know. It just, it smells good. It smells like freaking Pez and I love Pez. And I mentioned that before. It's like one of my favorite candies. I hate that you can't get the like freaking like 10 pack unless you're at like a Toys R Us and they don't always have it. So that's annoying because I hate buying the dispensers because they only come with three rolls and then you're left with the dispenser and then what do you do with it? I just rip open the rolls and I just eat them. So this ugh, smells so good. Smells so good. I want to eat it, but I can't. So yeah. Now I'm going to move on to bubble bars. All right, guys, bubble bars. This is, I don't, I don't even know where to start. This is, I'll just start with this one because it's freaking huge. This is plum snow. And like I said, it's freaking huge. Like, I don't know. I don't know how helpful this is, but gives you an idea. Um, this smells like, I don't know. I thought it would, hmm, that smells like something I recently, it smells like some kind of alcoholic beverage I have consumed recently. That's just what I'll say. It smells like a pear mojito. That's what it smells like. Yeah. I don't know. I know that's pretty random and that's probably not what this smells like to other people, but that's what I smell. It smells good. So yeah. And it's freaking huge and it better be because I mean, for the amount, for the amount that I paid for this, I mean, you know, so yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Plum snow. And it's so cute. Like a little snowflake and it's really nice. Well done. Yeah. I like that. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. Now this is Candy Mountain and Again, I, I don't know what this has to do with Christmas, but it smells like Snow Fairy. So there's that. And lots of people love this. I like it, but I can see why lots of people get, you know, sick of it really quickly. It's very, um, you know, like bubblegum, candy sweet, and um, it can be a bit much. So yeah, but I mean, I like it. So that's Candy Mountain. This is Christmas Eve, I think is what it's called, or Christmas night or Christmas, I don't know, something. This is what it looks like, and apparently it's had a makeover. I don't know. Not my favorite scent. This smells, I say it all the time with stuff that smells like this, masculine, like Irish Spring, very heavily fragranced bar soap for men. It just, just not, I don't, okay, I'm gonna stop smelling it because it's irritating me. It, yeah, probably wouldn't, it's like, it's up there. You know when you eat wasabi? and it just whoo, shoots right up your nostrils. Yeah, okay, again, put it down, Christina, put it down. Next, we have the man in the moon. I'm, is the man on the moon or in the moon? I'm not sure, but that that's him. And this kind of like fell out. Honestly, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what this has to do with Christmas. Maybe it's some kind of reference from a movie or a book that I never heard of or saw or anything, but pretty strange. I don't get it, but whatever. Um, smells like Golden Wonder. So yeah, that's that. And I think the eye is a bath melt. So, mm. but yeah, he smells good. He's just freaking weird. Next is all I want for Christmas are my two front teeth. Is my two front teeth or are? I think it's are. No, it is. Yeah. I don't know. My um, English isn't very good today. 
So this is what it looks like and it's pretty odd. I mean, I get the reference, but at the same time, it's a pretty odd bubble bar to, or anything to make into this. So I don't know, but it's cute. It smells really, really good. Um, it smells like something else I just mentioned earlier. I don't know. Oh, it smells, no, does it smell? I don't know. I don't know, guys. It just smells good. It smells like citrus and candy and sweetness and just, I don't know. It smells delicious and I want to eat it, but I can't. So, oh, it's so good. Next, we have the reusable bubble bars. So this is the Christmas cracker and this smells so good. Oh, it smells like freaking lemon drops, just, or like lemon heads. Oh yes, that's what it smells like. It smells like lemon heads. I love lemon heads. Mm. I mean, is there a candy that I don't love? So apparently chocolate and candy are different. I don't know. I always ask my mom if she has candy on her and she offers me chocolate. And I'm just like, okay. I. So I always thought they were the same, but apparently there are people that think chocolate and candy are separate. So I guess I should just go with that. When I ask for candy, don't give me chocolate. Not a fan of chocolate. Chocolate, I mean, I'll eat it. I love kisses, especially with almonds. Um, milk chocolate bars with almonds. Just, I love almonds and chocolate. Um, I like Almond Joy. I like Kit Kats. I like Reese's Pieces. I like Reese's. I like Snickers. But if I had to like choose between chocolate and candy, I'd happily get rid of chocolate and just eat Starburst and Skittles and Runts and Peach Rings and all that kind of stuff for the rest of my life. So hands down. Um, and this smells so friggin delicious. Oh, I want some lemon heads. So this is supposedly reusable. It's got popping candy in the center. I don't know how. It, I've seen videos and it doesn't seem to be as effective as they, I guess, had intended, but whatever. Then we have these guys. Okay, let me stop before they like break. So this is, I don't even know what these are called guys. I'm sorry, but this is not helpful. However, I will be able to list them down below once I, you know, figure out what they are. This one, whatever it is, smells, or maybe it's magic wand. I don't know, who cares? Um, it smells like Snow Fairy, so we have two Snow Fairy scented things this year, I guess, for bubble making. You've got this, and you've got Candy Mountain, so, yes. Snow Fairy Overload. Then we've got this, and I don't know, Christmas Magic, or I don't know what it's called, sorry. But you've got some anise there, and some glitter, and the wand itself. Come on, it's a freaking cinnamon stick, so I think that is freaking awesome. And it smells really, really good. It's sweet and spicy, but it's not crazy overpowering like the Christmas sweater bath bomb. That one, that one's like, like stop. This one, I can smell this forever. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. And it's got a little bell. Meow, meow, meow. So, oh, so this is one. So, those are those. Um... Oh, and we have one bubble rune. So I thought they were getting rid of all their bubble runes, but I don't know, this came out. And this is the snowman bubble rune. And he's got some like moisturizing creaminess in the center. I don't know what these are made of. Um, don't know what that is, but it's broken. So, I mean, he's cute, kind of. He's a little disheveled, but that's all right. So yeah, that's that. And it smells like, I don't know, it smells weird. It smells like, powder and I don't know I'm like smelling all different parts of it as if it would smell any different elsewhere um I don't know what it smells like it smells odd it not in a bad way it's just unique um I know Melody Collis I love her she's awesome she makes tons of lush videos um check her out but she says this smells like pancake batter and so I don't know if I'm smelling that or if I'm thinking I'm smelling it because that's what she said it smells like. So I don't know. It, it doesn't smell bad. It just, I can't 
put my finger on what it smells like. So that's that. Now we're going to move into bath melts. So got a bunch of different bath melts here. Um, where do I start? Okay, I'll start with my one casualty. Um, this is, or was, the Tree D. Get it? Because <laughs> it was 3D, but it's broken now. So yeah, this was the Tree D bath melt. And I mean, look it up online if you really want to see what it supposed to look like but basically um it's two of these and they just click together like that so yeah but super cute um it's melting it smells really really good i do need to put it down this smells like limes i really like it and i'm excited to use it, it smells like limes and maybe like um cuties you know like the little i don't know what are they tangerines nectarines something greens i don't know but they smell like cuties and limes and they're delicious so can't wait to use that and it's broken so this is oh man i don't know what this is i forgot what it's called but again i'll link it down below or list it down below um this is freaking huge i think if i'm not mistaken it is a bath bomb covered in a bath melt so i don't know if i should use this as a whole or break it up because i don't know what's inside but it smells good um, I probably have glitter all over my face, as I always do when I walk out of freaking lunch from smelling everything and just touching everything. Um, oh, what does it smell like? It smells like something else here. Not here, but like something I've smelled at lunch. I think I have it too. I don't know what it smells like, but it does smell good. And again, just fruity, bright, citrusy. I can't really... I can't really elaborate sorry but that's what it looks like and as you can see looking like the tin man now so i'm gonna put that down lastly we have this uh snow angel bath melt no bath oil bath melt well they're the same thing the bath melts and the bath oils i'm not sure i think oh i may have been mistaken i think this is the bath bomb slash bath melt and that one is just the bath melt who knows but We'll figure it out. So that's what she looks like, and she's really pretty. And I had my boyfriend to go on the hunt for this because every time, what, was, what? Well, I don't even know what just came out of my mouth. Every time I went into a lush looking for this, it was just gone or sold out, or they never got it yet. Like they didn't receive the shipment. I don't know, but he found it and picked it up for me. And this smells like. It smells like this. Kind of, yeah. It's like, I don't know. It smells powdery, but a little bit sweet and kind of edible. Maybe it does smell like pancake batter. I don't know what kind of pancake smell he's eating, but they smell good, so I might want some. These, mmm, but that's that. And lastly, for like soap bubbly bath kind of things, this is the Golden Pear Soap. And how cute is this? It freaking looks like a pear. It's even got a stalk in it, got a little bit of glitter, and it's got, again, that cream in the middle, so it's supposed to be really moisturizing. I don't really know, because, I mean, I haven't used it yet, so. And it smells like a pear, which I freaking love pears. I love the scent of pears. I have the clean rain and pear, and oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I want to eat this. I want a pear now. Oh my God, I want pears. I eat canned pears too. I like them. I don't mind them. They're just, you know, easier. But, oh my gosh. No, next time I have to, like, stock up on pears. I love the little, like, dole cups that are, like, saturated in sugar. Delicious. Drink that stuff up. Even, like, ramen. Because you're not supposed to, like, drink the sabao. Sorry. Um, I don't even know why they get... Um, the broth. And, um... Sorry, if you're Filipino, you knew what I said. Um, the broth or the liquid because it contains like MSG or whatever. I'm just like, this is like the best part to me. Like screw the noodles. I love all the vegetables that are left at the end and the broth. Drink it up and we're good. Um, really random story, but now you know. Um, oh, so, so good. Okay, put it down. But I'm really excited to use it. Um, kind of curious as to how because, I mean, look at it, but... So, 
Next, I'm going to get into all of the um, more random things that I picked up. They're not necessarily like soaps or bubble bars or bath bombs, but like potted products and things like that. Um, I'm going to put this down. So I picked up, oops, and I forgot them. All right, I had to go get them from my shower because I have been using these things. I have had them for quite a bit and I wanted to start using them. Um, you know, so they're, just, they're not just sitting there rotting. Um, so I got a bunch of body conditioners. This is Chris Tingle and it says here, um, invigorating peppermint and menthol crystals energize skin with tingly holiday excitement. I got the smaller version of this because I figured this would be really awakening um, if I'm taking a shower in the morning, which that is the only time I will use this and I really do um, think it helps like, you know, to kind of wake you up. It's very zingy. Like it says, it tingles your skin. Um, very, very minty. At first, I thought it was more like a sweet mint. So I was like, oh, okay, I could take it. But I end up freezing after using this. So I'm glad I got the small pot because I don't think I would repurchase this. Um, I often shower at night um, just because, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like that's, you know, when all your dirt is just, you know, like I don't want to be laying or sleeping in my own dirt. So I, at the end of the day, I shower and that way I can start fresh the next day. Um, so I don't often shower in the morning and I figured that's why I probably wouldn't get too much use out of this. So I ended up getting the small one. Um, I almost changed my mind because like I said, I thought it was a sweet mint at first, but this, this made me freeze. So, um, and it burns my skin for about 30 minutes to an hour after I get out of the shower. Not burns, like, but you know, it feels like I just rub my body in icy hot. So yeah, I just, I like it, but like, oh, like it's cold. So that's Chris Tingle. And like I said, probably wouldn't repurchase it. This is Snow Fairy. It says here, smooth on softening mango butter and a cotton candy perfume. So I don't think it smells like cotton candy. I think it smells like bubble gum. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It did have sparkle. I don't know if you can, if the camera will pick that up. There is some on the lid, but it's a really pretty bubblegum pink color and it smells like bubblegum. It's very sweet and I do get sick of it so I alternate between all three of these. Um, I got the large pot because I did like this a lot more than the Chris Tingle and I knew I would get a lot more use out of it. However, whew, that is strong. So, well not strong, I guess like um, what I mean to say is it's a fragrance I can't take too much of. Um, yeah, it's like I'm already getting nauseous. So that is Snow Fairy. This is Buck's Fizz, and I think this is my favorite of the three that I picked up. It says here, cheers to soft skin scented with an effervescent orange, lime, and cognac perfume. And this is BAM! Bright orange. It had some gold luster in it as well. I don't know if you can see that on the lid, but oh, this, my sister said it, and it just clicked in my head. I was like, yes! She said it smells like Skittles, and it freaking does. So... This smells like freaking Skittles. It smells so good and I love Skittles. However, I can get tired of Skittles. So this, like I said, this I can get tired of too because it's just way too like candy sweet. So again, I'll just alternate between these three. So I've got one, two, three. Those are those. Now I have these other two potted products. This is the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion. Glide this rich jojoba oil and move removal butter lotion over your skin and watch dryness disappear. So that's what it looks like. I haven't used this yet, actually. Um, however, that's what it looks like. And it smells... All right, this is going to be weird, but it smells like apples, like fresh apples, which is really, really good but I also smell gasoline. I just, I don't know what it is. I smell freaking gasoline. Freaking freaks me out. It's just strange. It's really, really strange, guys. So, I don't know why I got the big one because I did smell it in store and I still just chose to get the big one. But yeah, that's that. 
Um, supposedly, this smells like So White, um, their bath bomb and their shower gel, which didn't come out this year. This is like a terrible time for me to get into Lush because I feel like all the good things are going bye-bye um, and I'm just left with apples and gasoline. So yeah, but I'll use it. Mm -hmm. That's that. I actually didn't pick this up initially, so these like all of these things I had to get like during multiple trips because there were um, shipments that never came and things that were out of stock and blah blah blah. So I went multiple times. Not that I had a problem with that. But I initially picked up the solid version of the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion. Haven't tried it, um, but yeah, this actually, wow, there's like Indies hair all over it. Um, this actually smells a lot better. It's a lot more of that apple scent and it's, it's sweeter. So it smells, oh, it smells so good. It smells a lot more realistic. Um, I don't smell that gasoline scent or whatever it is. So I initially picked this up and then I was like, you know what? I really want to try this one though. So I ended up getting this one too. And I figured, hey, I could return it and get, um, you know, a free fresh face mask whenever I'm done with it. Um, so yeah, I have both. And I mean, I guess it's a good thing because now I'll be able to try both and compare the two and then I'll let you guys know. But yeah, that's that. I haven't used it yet. So I'm just going to put it back before it melts all over the place. Um, this is the Bouche de Noel Face and Body Cleanser. Keep skin feeling bright and soft all winter with this softening, nourishing cleanser. This is a very similar cleanser to, um, Angels on Bare Skin, which I really, really do like. However, this has a different scent, different ingredients. Um, what does it say? I don't know. It, it supposedly has cranberries and brandy in it. Um, the scent is, it's unique. It smells kind of like bread, like sweet bread or like fruit cake or something like that. I don't mind it. Um, however, I have used this a few times and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I like this, um, less than I do the, um, Angels on Bare Skin. Angels on Bare Skin, I think it leaves my skin a lot more hydrated than this does. So I'm not sure if I would repurchase this once I'm done with it, but it is really nice. And you use it the same way, you take a pinch, mix it with water, try to make a paste out of it, and then you just use it as a gentle exfoliant. It says cleanser, um, it's not going to foam up if that's what you're thinking. Um, so I basically wash my face with a cleanser that does foam, and then I'll go in with this as a gentle scrub or physical exfoliant. So this is really nice. Glad I got the small one though, because I think this has already expired. No, it will in like less than a month. 22nd. But I use things until they start to smell or look weird, so that's fine by me. Then I have this candy roulade, and I wasn't sure how to store this. I think the general rule with Lush is basically to store them as you see them stored in the store. So if they're not in the fridge, don't put them in the fridge. If they're in the fridge, put them in the fridge. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. However, the lady said that this was really moisturizing because it had some kind of cream in the middle, and I kind of I don't know, for some reason I felt like it would go bad, so I put it in my fridge, and as you can see, it got jacked up. Like, I don't know, it looks like it got the life sucked out of it. Um, I haven't opened it up to see what it looks like, really, but I'm pretty sure all that cream's dried up, and I mean, I'm still gonna use it, but I am gonna pay for it, and I'm pretty sure it'll still work. Maybe not as good as it would've had I not put it in the fridge, but yeah, that's basically what it looks like, and it's basically like a peppermint soap but because of the cream or whatever the formulation it has a um more moisturizing property um to it so it smells really good it smells a little more manly um than the chris tingle so this just smells like icy hot mineral ice bengay um this i don't know it kind of smells like peppermint mixed with like men's cologne but it's really nice um so excited to got to get that um, I got the smallest one. This was what, $4.28, which was still pretty pricey because this thing is very thin, but whatever. So I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything this time. Um, so I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything out this time. However, I do want to mention with these um, body conditioners, I didn't pick up any solid versions. I know that's um, something that Lush is really aiming for with you know the reduction of waste and whatnot however um i did notice a difference with the 
scent of the solid version versus the potted version. So not so much with Chris Tingle or Buck's Fizz. However, with Snow Fairy, I found that the solid version was, uh, the scent was a lot more intense than the potted version. And it's already a scent that I get sick of very easily. So I didn't want something that was going to be even more overwhelming than it already is. And that's why I didn't get the um, solid version of that. With Chris Tingle and Buck's Fizz, I didn't get the solid version because there wasn't, not because of the scent, there wasn't that much of a difference between the solid version or this potted version. However, I figured with the pots, I mean, I can return them and get a free fresh face mask when the time comes. So that's really basically it. Not too much of a difference between those two. Um, but Snow Fairy, yeah, that one, that one was great. So that's all I will say about those. I do want to mention some other products. These aren't part of their Christmas release. Um, however, this, this is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Lots of buzz about this and I, I totally get why. Um, I forgot to mention this in my Lush haul where I hauled the products from their permanent collection. So I believe this actually was a Christmas release last year. But, um, you know, they made it permanent because everybody loved it. So I'm really, really happy I got to try it because, like I said, I've just recently gotten into Lush. So um, if it didn't come back, I would have never known. So this says here, a luxurious, rich lavender and tonka lotion to soothe your skin and mind. And I have used this a few times and I really, really do like it. Ugh. But I had to force myself to use the sympathy for the skin because that actually will go bad um a lot faster than this this i believe what do they call it self-preserving yeah so oh it smells it smells so 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 good and amy lynn butchin raves about this so of course i had to get it um but yeah i just forgot to mention it in that video so i figured i would mention it in this video i have been using it i love it oh it smells so freaking good. I can't wait to focus all my attention on this. Um, once I finish up my sympathy for the skin, I love it. I'm in no rush, but I mean, I mean, I guess I'm kind of in a rush because I don't want it to go bad on me. Um, and then I have my, um, body hero body lotion from Glossier that I'm using because I'm working on a review for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But after those, I'm, oh my God, I cannot wait to focus on this. I really just use it on my upper body. Um, which is what Amy Lynn Butchin does, or Amy, Christina, people here have real names. Um, I always do that. So that's what Amy does. And it makes sense because it's something that you want to be able to inhale as you're winding down. And I mean, I can't really smell my legs from that far up. Not that I'm tall by any means. I'm five, three and a half. So yeah. So actually, um, <laughs> when I was at the DMV, um, I tried to put five, three and a half just to see what they might do. And they actually rounded down. So they put on my license at five, three, which I was just like, damn it, bastards. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm stupid. Um, so yeah, that's sleepy body lotion. This stuff from here, I also forgot to mention in that haul, not that it's part of their, um, sorry, my arm is itchy. I feel like I'm always itchy when I'm filming. Um, not that it's part of their permanent collection, but I figured I would uh, mention it anyway. So Johnny actually had this on our, um, sitting outside our door and it was just a little treat that he picked up at the mall and uh, I came home from work and it was sitting outside waiting for me. So this is their little pumpkin. It is one of their gift sets. I believe you can't get it anymore, but um, yeah, it comes with the, not bath of lantern, um, the pumpkin bath bomb, which I love. This was my favorite from their, uh, Halloween release. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. It's, it's so fruity and vibrant, but it's got a little bit of spice in there. There is cinnamon. It smells so good. I love, 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 love this. And I'm so glad I have another one. And it also came with the sparkly pumpkin um bubble bar so i don't want to open it but that is how it came so um 
still glitter everywhere despite it being covered in plastic. Um, so yeah, that was really, really cute. This is the Little Pumpkin gift set and ah, I love it. I'm so excited. I'm glad I got to try it again. Whoa. That actually was one of the things that I was kind of like, uh, probably not gonna like the sparkly pumpkin, so I'll use it, but I probably won't get it again. But I mean, I'm actually happy that I have it again. So you never know. This, um, he also came home and got me this another, a different day. Um, this is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. And another one that I was like, eh, you know, it's, it's good. I'll, I'll, I'll use it and I'm sure it'll be okay. But after that, I probably won't like it anymore. I used it and I freaking, I loved it. It was really, really good. Really, it, it's still strong, but it's not as overpowering as it is when you smell it like this but in the in the bath it's really really nice so I really do like this a little bit underwhelmed um, I mentioned before that I heard this um, inside it looks like blood like it, it the inside is red and it turns the water like a blood red color but it's more wine red so kind of upset about that but, yeah and he also picked up another of the um I'm filming be quiet got me another bath. I keep saying bath of lantern. Jack, no, it's not even jack o' lantern. It's pumpkin, pumpkin bath bomb. So I have two of these now and I'm really, really excited and I love it. It smells delicious. This one, I mean, his teeth are jacked up, but oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so good. So yeah, excited for that. But just put this stuff away now. That was everything I did. I don't want really to ask for samples, but I did one of the times that I went in um, when I was actually looking for the sleepy body lotion and they didn't have it. So I was upset. They, they, I went to a mall where like, they just, they have like everything, not just Lush, but like the stores in general, they have like a crazy amount of like awesome, awesome stores. Their stock is great. Um, and so I went there looking for a sleepy and they told me they didn't have it. They were sold out. And I was like, really? And then I ended up finding it at my local Lush, which I thought was kind of whack but they ended up having it. So yeah, I guess they're not whack. And now I'm gonna go there all the time. And Tanya, she's my girl. She helps me out, she's awesome. Anyway, um, so I asked for a sample because they didn't have that. Um, she suggested dream cream and I was like, eh, could I just try a sample of it first? So she made this little pot and she was like, this smells really similar to Sleepy. And at first I was like, um, no it doesn't, but okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> that's really mean, but um, now that I, I don't know, the more I smell it, the more I see the, or smell the similarities, but that one's still way better. So apparently this is really good for sensitive skin, people with eczema or psoriasis, tattoos, things like that. I don't know, but I haven't actually used it at all, but just showing you guys. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorites from the Halloween Christmas release. Um, just, you know, because they have Boxing Day coming up and just in case there's some stuff that I really should be stocking up on. I don't know if I should go in store. Actually, I can't go in store. I'm working. Hello. Um, so, I mean, we'll see how successful I am online. Actually, I can't do that either. I'm working. Okay, this is gonna suck. Um, anyway, I'll figure something out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, follow me on Instagram at Christina the Pita. Squ squallow, squallow. S isn't that a bird? A squallow? A swallow? I think it's just a swallow. Anyway, what am I talking about? Follow me on Instagram at Christina the Pina. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love for you guys to stick around. Johnny started vacuuming, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Also, follow me on Instagram. I always scratch myself. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram at Christina the Pina. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Christina. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Um, also, no, I used going crazy. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, if you guys um, have any suggestions, any like absolute favorites from the Halloween, Halloween, Christmas release from Lush, let me know what they are so that I know to stock up on Boxing Day. Um, still have to figure out how that's gonna work because I can't go in store because I'm working and I can't be online because I'm working. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on some kind of solution to that. Um, anyway, yeah, actually, even if it's something from their permanent collection, let me know. If it's something that you feel nobody talks about and it's a hidden gem or whatever, I mean, I'd be happy to try it out, of course, because I love Lush. So anyway, thank you guys, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!